What's up guys? We got a request to make a giant french fry. This is not going to be an easy task. Julia is deciding to do it one way and I'm gonna try another way and we're gonna see which way comes out the best. Let's do this. Hey guys, I'm doing this because JP doesn't think that my recipe is the right way. So let's see if it is. Step one, potatoes. Whoop. This is gonna be a lot easier than the way JP's doing it. She thinks she's got it all figured out. She thinks she knows exactly what Whoa! Sorry about that hot sauce. Oh, you know Julia went shopping, she got organic. Yes. The good old days of peeling potatoes, guys. This is something I used to love doing as a kid. I even told my mom, I'm like, Mom, one day I want to be like a professional potato peeler. You know, it's just like, was my... Whoop. I just felt like it was my calling, you know? And she said, well, if I'm not good at Call of Duty, I probably shouldn't join the military, you know what I mean? This is one ugly potato. Should I use this? Okay, so I just peeled all these potatoes, but they got all this funk on them, so. Okay, so now that we got our potatoes, I'll pick the nicer looking ones. These are gonna be mine. Cut the potatoes into quarters. Bring this pot to a boil. You can now toss your potatoes in. Oh! Oh! Carefully toss them in. We're gonna check these guys after 20 minutes. All right, once they're finished draining, we're just gonna throw them back into the pot. Put this on low heat and start mashing. Whew. That's really hard to do. Gosh, I wish I was strong. Half a stick of butter. It's as if I almost didn't let them boil enough. Four ounces of cream cheese. Boom. Little bit of salt never hurt anybody. Little bit of black pepper. You know what the trick is? The trick is to take all your big potatoes and cut them into the same size as your smaller potatoes. JP1, Julia, zero. Looks like we're good to go. All right, this is where the fun happens. I got this pan here. I think like this might be like the perfect pan for us to put our mashed potatoes in. Spray it down. Like so. Do it when the potato's not too hot. I'm almost wondering if we need like egg or something. And just press it right down into the bottom of your pan. I don't even know if this is gonna work. This is the perfect amount of potato for this. Yes. This is like the perfect amount of potato that came out. Try to make sure there aren't any air pockets in it. I don't want any air in them. Now we're just gonna freeze this until it gets hard. And this is just gonna go into the freezer. There's no space. All right guys, it is tomorrow. And we don't have to wait till tomorrow, but we waited till tomorrow. And this is frozen. This is Julia Gulia's. I don't know if I should be uh, touching her product. You excited? Are you nervous? I just hope I can get it out of that thing. <gasps> Dude, mine came right out. How did you do that? I don't know. Did you grease yours? Yeah, I greased it. Oh, I didn't grease mine. JP2, Julia Zero. Never mind. Actually, that was way easier than I thought. I'm gonna cut right down the middle first. Good luck. <gasps> no! Oh, real good. No! Oh. I'd like to say that mine looks more like a french fry and mine will taste better. You guys are gonna have to let us know in the comments below who wins. It's me. We're just gonna take this frozen piece of love. It's going in. It's heavy. Here you go. Oh my God. <laughs> oh yes, stay together baby, stay together. I'm nervous but excited at the same time. Oh my god, that actually... I know. Oh no. Is that a part? It's like disintegrating. <laughs>
I win! <laughs> JP wins! You've never had a bigger fail. I never had a more gigantic fail. <laughs> this does kind of resemble a giant hash brown, but it's all about the taste. Mm hmm. Does it taste like a tater tot? It tastes like a french fry. It's super potato y, perfect golden brown color. We decided not to go for the double fry. Dude, giant this is like a french fry. <laughs> Look like a giant french fry. It's amazing. This this might be the greatest thing that we've ever done. <laughs> mm, this is the greatest thing. Mm -hmm. Is that your baby? It's my baby. You know why you're a baby? Because when you go into my tummy, you're gonna make it look like I'm pregnant. You're so happy about that fry. I'm so happy that I beat you in a versus. People Aww. need to comment below and say who really won. <laughs> I don't who think really that they won, can guys. anymore because it's so obvious that you lost because your french no, fry looks like a pimple. For, some people vote for the underdog. It doesn't look like a pimple. It looks like pus that comes out of a pimple. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, guys. You've seen it. We did it. Giant french fry. Yes. DIY or die. Well, this is healthy junk food. Healthy junk food. Thread banger. You get hashtag. it. You get it. I think that now that we tackled the french fry, we tackled the onion ring, we should really tackle like... A giant Big Mac? I was thinking a giant drumstick. You find a giant bone and then you like mold meat to the bone. Ew! 